right, so let's discuss um, arm grabs, just basic arm grabs. So someone just basically grabbing your arm, okay? For other holds like headlocks and bear hugs and full Nelson and stuff like that, we can look at um, much later on in the program because they're very difficult things to get out of. You need to be able to use your center of mass. But for arm grabs, it's, it's, it's quite simple actually. Um, you know, I, I taught my wife how to do these things just in case she ever gets grabbed or something like that, you know. So, first thing to remember with the arm grabs, if we go here, because you're a tall fella, so you've got to be whole body in the frame. First thing is with the arm grabs, that if I'm grabbing the arm, right, unless I'm grabbing and straight away pulling, pushing, doing something, but even then, he still has three limbs free. So, even if there's no internal ability in terms of being able to utilize your joints and move under pressure, you still have those free. So, um, one good thing to do is, is to be prepared, you know. Too many times people, I see if you watch on YouTube, all these street fights and stuff, people allow someone to get in their space, right? And that's the number one thing. Don't let someone get in your space. So this whole thing of, I used to do this when I was a kid, uh, before I learned how to fight, you know, because I was a little man syndrome, they call it, you know. So no matter who it was, wherever there was, at school, whatever, I'd go up and I was, it was always like this because I was always the shortest one. And I'd go up like that. You know, this is the stupidest thing to do against someone that, that's actually, you know, going to hit you because you're going like this, so you're tensing up, so your arms, your arms as, as far as possible from the person because this is a natural thing. You see birds and animals do it. They're trying to chest up to make yourself look bigger, which for me doesn't really work. But, you know, so that's something that you try to do um, as an alpha male type thing. You're holding this back. You're leaving your chin out. Exactly what you should be doing is this back and chin in. Let's say for boxing and stuff like that. They'll say keep this close. So you're opening up. It's, you know, one slap and you get knocked out. So many times I see people you know, pushing, shoving, they're getting close. Yeah, this shouldn't happen. I shouldn't be able to touch him. This shouldn't happen, right? So rule number one is for any arm, just be ready for fighting in general. So if I'm going like that, you straight away, well, you can do that if you're, if, you, if it's a fight and it's, you know, it's about to happen, you can hit first. Or, as I try to touch you, just, yeah, so as you try to, as you try to, just say, hey man, I, just don't touch me, man. I don't like being touched. You just, you just, if you respond, like here already, I've given him some chance to get a good grip, right? Whereas, you know, whereas here, I'm like, man, just, you know, unless it's coming for a punch or whatever, and I'll go into that in detail in a second. But the whole point is that if you respond before they get a good grip, you can start, you can, you can, have it so he doesn't have a hold on you, right? Now, having said that, I'll discuss what I just, what I just did. So I did that like that, and then as I, as I came down, the only problem with things like this is, as you, as I, if you let me imagine I'm doing it soft, uh, hard enough to loosen your grip, the only problem with things like that is that if the person's actually got intention to hit you, as you try to loosen my grip, you know, I'll just, I'll just, you know, I'll just hit you, right? So, so a couple of things to discuss. Whenever the person's holding, the weakest part of their grip is um, hold here is the thumb, right? So here, this is the weakest area of their grip. Okay, it doesn't matter how strong they are, you can you can uh, if if you want to apply pressure on them, you know. So if I go like that, you can he has to he has to go with. But some people, Tom's not holding. Tom's not ex, you know holding as hard as he can, but. If he held as hard as he can, unless you have some, you know, you can't go like that. So my wife won't, won't be able to do that, you know. I can do it because, because of what I can do here, but other people won't, probably won't be able to do it. So if they're stronger, maybe that won't work. But regardless, this gap, if you hold as hard as you can, yeah, you know, I can, I can still get my finger through quite easily. You know, no matter how strong you are, there is a, there is a, you, it's just, it doesn't matter how strong you are, you can, you can get your finger through it. So that means that that's the weakest point compared to if I try anywhere else. If I try to get, get a finger through anywhere else, it doesn't work. But here, you can get, can get through, right? So for that reason, you can start to pull your uh, arm out of that. So for ladies, like for my wife, I've taught um, for something like this to like, ah, you know, and so she can get the other hand up, grab this. Go like that and, and quickly run away, you know. So the reason to go like that is for women, you know, so, so for men can do that. So as you're turning, as you're coming in, I turn to have my blade come in here and release like this, right? Like that. And, but for women, if they can't do it, if the person's holding really hard, to hold two hands, you know, once you hold two hands, once you connect like this, it's very, very, like if you get a child to hold their hands like that, or like if you let me go, like this, and you try to uh, 
you know, let's get a 10-year-old to do that, it's very hard to loosen their grip and because, because your mind can connect here and, and hold it together. So for that reason, this becomes, once they go like this, for women, for women it becomes a strong thing. And then from there, you can do the same thing. Go, go to here and pull away. Now at that point, as soon as you do that, you can pull away to then be, be ready. Okay, so now we're in our normal sparring situation where the big man is not holding the little girl or little man or stronger person not holding the weaker guy to, they can control. So here, you know, as, then, then here I've got everything free. Or, of course, as you're doing that, you just, you just use that to just run away, grab a stool, you know, whatever you've got to do, and just get away from the situation or, or get, find yourself in a better situation. Now, you have to highlight that because even if the grip is underneath, if we do this side, something like that, now I can't, okay, if you hold really hard, you know, you can still sort of bring it out like that. For me, if you, again, if you have ability, it's very easy. If you can rotate this joint, it's very easy, right? But I've tried this. I, got, I, I tried my wife to do It's so easy, right? Mm. Yeah, it doesn't matter how hard he holds, I can go like that. Now, again, I've tried, I try, I try to get Mifty to do this, and she can't, because her, her arm is very small, so I can grip fully around, and my hands isn't even that big compared to yours or a much bigger guy. So you can really wrap around, and then suddenly the, the, the weak point is fully wrapped around like that, then it's not as weak anymore, right? So for her, as you hold, as, as hard as you want, yeah, I mean, I can do it anyway, but for her, what I got to do, what I got to do is utilize her body so you go under, so really sink the elbow under, so this can come up like that. So, so it, this is still a fulcrum point, you know? So from here, just going like this, any woman can do it. Anyone should be able to do this if, you, if you're not fighting, you just wanted to anchor this. If it's too hard, you can just do this and then do that, like that. So okay? that one starts to, starts to attack the, the, the wrist joint as well as just that, just that opening there. Exactly, so what I was gonna say with that is as you go on like this, you know, if you wanted to do this, you can step in and then you can start to, it's very, you know, so that's the reason why Toysen team said, you know, in Chi Sao, in, in people that do Tai Chi, now some people mixing Wing Chun with Tai Chi and stuff, and I've seen that they do Chi Sao like that, you know, that's why I walk around, anyone that's holding, you know, going like that, no, don't do it, <laughs> don't do that, we, in our Wing Chun we don't do that, we don't do this, why, for that reason, because as soon as I go like that now, first of all, he's, he's got the same control on me, right, I'm, I'm, I've given the advantage to him, second, I can't strike, so if I'm going like this, I can't strike, I have to go one, two, if, but however, we do have latches, of course, you know, so we have latches like this. Now, this is different. You see here, I'm not, my thumb isn't wrapped around, so there is no weak point. As you try to put pressure on my wrist, yeah, it's still, it's still, I can still control and hit at the same time, right? So that's why we always, we never, in our wind tuning, this, don't get used to grabbing. Never grab. Get someone that, that can do, like I haven't done Aikido, all this kind of stuff, right? But get someone that's done those arts, they'll break your hand and, and flip you before you know it because you're, you've, you've given them a hold, okay? So... We have that, we have that release. Now, I have to show that because you know, that, that's useful, especially for women or if you don't want to fight, if you don't want to hit them straight away. Personally, um, I'm confident enough, it depends, you know, you get a 110 kilo, you know, strongest man in the world to hold me like that, maybe I will, I will do that and I'll be more comfortable here to use my speed and go in and hit where it hurts. But normal people, I mean, you just seen 100 kilo, 110 kilo strong guys, it's fine. Like that, my, my, uh, my method, because I'm confident enough, if they've made contact to me, I, I love being in contact with, with my opponent. Because being in contact, like if you hold strong, right, instead of me going like that, right, if you see the change in him, if I'm, if I'm doing that, so now here at that point, you saw that foot, foot come forward, right? So at that point, I've got control of him. So he's held me, but he's, because he's connected to me, he's given me control. So you can do any movement like, like the, like, you know, coming back movement, coming, sorry, coming back movement, and you see he's just coming into here, or coming down movement. He, his whole body is coming forward and being controlled by that one movement, you know? So you wanna keep holding, that's good. If you wanna keep holding, fantastic. Keep holding, please keep holding so I can keep that control of your body, you know? So for me, and the, but this is much difficult. So you can try both. You can try first to re loosen the grip. That's an easy thing to have, easy tool to have, you know, in your toolbox, just in case tomorrow someone grabs you, you know, you get an aggressive bouncer that's grabbed you and you just wanna release the grip without hitting him. But also try the other way of, and it, it should work against however holds. Is this hold, you know, same, that hold should be the same. And at this hold, as I'm coming down, because I, I, I like to be in contact, just to ensure that he, he can't let go, I'll hold here. So when he does let go, I've still got him, you know. 
you know, and I just said, don't, don't do this, and I just did it. <laughs> you know, so holding like that would be better. Not wrapping around the thumb, not wrapping the thumb around. So not this, if you hold me here. Not this, but that is it. Just like a fuxia, you know, just something like that is all right. Yeah. And this is, this is at that point, it's, it's, uh, this would be okay as well. This is okay as well. Because at that point, if you try to put pressure on my wrist, yeah, it's still, it's still fine. This is the problem that I have. Now at that point, if you try to put, even a turn like that, if you, if you let me move your arm, even a turn like this, like that can grip. Now, if I hold like that, if you try to turn, there's nothing to grab, right? And my thumb is free and I can hit through, okay? But this stuff, I don't want to go into too much detail. For now, just don't ever grab and just latch around like that, okay? Later on, we can talk about, um, once you're sensitive enough, you'll know. You'll know you're always safe. You'll be holding in such a way that you're always safe. Okay, so that's for single arm grabs. You can do it even against cross arm grabs. It works. Of course, we have, you know, we have stuff like that. Even for single arm grabs, you know, we have stuff like this. You know, later on, we'll look at how to use the fulcrum point to, to basically gain control of the person. We have, of course, we have stuff like that, you know, where we not, yeah, we're hurting here, but we're also, while we're grabbing there. Um, but for now, we're just looking at just loosening the grip and just moving the arm back and down while you strike with the other one. Always be ready to strike. This is always a good thing, good habit to get into. Because even if it's very strong, right, and I can't, you know, and I'm trying to rotate, take gong, single, and I can't do it. But if I get used to it, as I do that, even if I can't, let's say I'll do it wrong so I can't grab his body. Even as I do that, I can't, I can't grab his body. At that point, his mind thinks about this because he's the one that's grabbed me. His mind goes to there. And if I'm getting used to simultaneously hitting, even if I can't grab it, even if I can't do this, it's still, I'm still hitting him and that will loosen the grip, especially with the second, third hit, you know. Um, I just want to cover double arm grab as well. So another thing you can do for here. So same thing. As you, you can, let's talk about loosening the grip. You can come down and, and hold here and, and, and control here as you're hitting. Again, keeping the control so you can start to, you know, whatever. From here doing whatever afterwards. Or, um, or you can do the loosening the grip because the, thumbs, the thumb uh, gap is there. So because this one, both arms are there so you can't strike at the same time with the other arm, you have your leg, right? So you can do Something like that. So kicking at the same time. And you see how, you see, look at what happens to his body. You look, at that point, his pressure, his weight is coming, just for a split second, he's coming on all, uh, all, on the knees, and then you're taking out the knee. So as the weight is transferring to this support, you take out that support system, you're going to damage the knee. You know, there's a big chance that you'll damage the knee. If you're a lady, forget the knee, go straight for the groin. If the man's grabbed you like this and it's in a car park and you know this is dangerous, he's either gonna rob you or worse, um, then, you know, then just go straight out in the center. Now, last thing I'll mention is what happens to, to the arm. So we don't wanna, do, I don't wanna do something like that now, Tom, if you just, um, as I come down, you go choke me or, or punch me or whatever, I don't wanna do something like that. Cause yeah, maybe I'll grab him here, but at the expense of that. So you need to be really, really relaxed here. So. As soon as it comes down, it comes up straight away. So it's, it's, it, it's not your, in your mind's eye, you're not going like, if you let go, you're not going like that. In your mind's eye, you, again, it's sensitivity. You're feeling it. See here now, I actually ended up on top of his arm where I could actually hit. So it's just to loosen the grip, grab his body enough, but still keep yourself guarded. Not to give your guard, you know, just to be able to loosen the grip. Again, ultimately it doesn't matter. You don't want to loosen the grip. Ultimately, I'd rather be here, you know. So from here, you can start to do stuff later on, okay? So a lot of points covered there. You can loosen the grip through the thumb at a high level. You can uh, keep the hold so you can keep control of them, but always do strike and always keep yourself guarded. So as you're ripping your arm down, you know, except in a, a situation like this where you think if you're a fast runner, then just do that and continue running. With the momentum, you just keep running. You know? If you're a fast runner and if you feel like you're fast, you know, in fighting it is, that, that stuff is very important for a split second to evaluate if you can run faster than the per other person and you can just if it's safe enough to sort of go you know these kind of stuff is a, you know it's a it's a very nasty thing to talk about these kind of stuff uh but with with the day and age of people stabbing so much all these you know, 13 year olds walk around with knife if you don't you know give you your money give you their money give them your money they stab you and stuff like that so there's a dangerous world. It can be a dangerous world out there. So this stuff, we, need to, we will start discussing more and more and more as the program goes ahead. Okay, so anything you want to add or any questions? No, I think what you said is good. Um, just
just at the moment, just keeping it nice and easy and simple, get used to the positioning, get used to the sensitivity of how to release yourself and attack those weak points that you mentioned. Yeah. Um, and then just get used to doing it smoothly. And Yeah, very good point actually. Yeah, so just, just with your partner, go uh, to, to your own level. So if, if, you know, if the partner happens to be your husband, which is twice your size, don't get him to like that and say, yeah, your stuff doesn't work, you know? Start like this so you get used to it. Like Tom said, you can do it smoothly and then gradually when you're confident, get him to add pressure, add pressure, add pressure and you can do it that way. This is how, this is the best method of training for any exercise anyway.